हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज द सोल्यूशन वीडियो फॉर क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवनटीन चैप्टर सिक्स एस सी वर्मा द प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट सेज ए कार स्टार्ट फ्रॉम रेस्ट ऑन ए हाफ किलोमीटर लॉन्ग ब्रिज द कॉफिशेंट ऑफ फ्रिक्शन बिटवीन द टायर्स एंड द रोड इज वन शो दैट वन कैन नॉट ड्राइव थ्रू द ब्रिज इन लेस देन टेन सेकेंड्स सो इन दिस प्रॉब्लम गिवन क्वान्टिटीज आर द डिस्टेंस हैज टू बी ट्रेवल्ड एज फाइव हंड्रेड मीटर म्यू इज गिवन एज वन and the initial velocity is given as 0 meter per second because the car is starting from rest so car will move forward in account of friction between the tire and the road the frictional force between the tire and the road will provide the acceleration in the car so that means the frictional force between the tire and the road is mu into r so we know this formula which is mu into r is the frictional force okay so this frictional force will provide the acceleration in the car so this is the force on account of which the car will move okay so i can say this can be equated as mass into acceleration so now if we apply more force by engine then the tire will skid so if the tire will skid that means the car will not move in forward direction okay so this is the maximum frictional force which can be attained between the car and the tire okay so that means we can equate it as acceleration is equal to mu into r upon m we also know that r is nothing but m into g where m is the mass of the car so i am putting the value of r mu m g upon m so this m will cancel out so it is equal to mu into g now putting the value of mu and g mu is 1 g is taken as 10 so it is going to be 10 meter per second square so that means this is a maximum acceleration that car can attain okay now using s is equal to ut plus half at square i can get the time so the distance has to be covered as 500 meter initial velocity was 0 so this component is 0 is equal to half into acceleration is 10 into t square so that means t will become 1000 upon 10 under the root so t will become 10 seconds now we know that acceleration cannot increases beyond 10 meter per second square because if it increases beyond 10 meter per second square in that case the tire will start skidding so from here we can see that the time will decrease in the case of increase in acceleration but acceleration cannot be increase so that means t cannot be less than 10 second so this is the solution of this problem